A Detroit business owner taking matters into her own hands to track down a stolen car. The Mercedes Benz she shares with her boyfriend was taken early this week. Within days, she says she found the car and confronted the thief. Local Ford defender Sean Lay is live with how it all happened. And Sean, we should say this is not the safest course of action, but this is what she did, and she is was not harmed. Well, yep. Yeah, Bianca Chambers is her name. You're about to see. She's no joke at all. Calling police each time, police arriving each time, each time she saw this uh, stolen white Mercedes Benz. She tracked it for three days, found it again, found the person driving it, which led to this wild confrontation. Excuse me, you got that Benz out there? Yes, yes you do. You are watching Bianca Chambers surprising and then getting physical with the teen who Chambers saw driving this stolen white Mercedes, her boyfriend's white Mercedes that she drives before it was stolen from the shops at 8 Mile and Woodward on Monday. Chambers tracked the car and the teen down like a veteran detective. You're the dumbest criminal of all. I'm the wrong one. Pop's going to find you. You're a thief. A thief. Chambers first put an alert about the theft on Facebook and Instagram. It lit up with people seeing the white Mercedes near Grand River in Greenfield, including her. Eight mile in Greenfield, I see him. I said, oh my God, this is my car. Chambers says the driver sped away. Tuesday, another sighting. Chambers owns Taste of Honey Boutique on Greenfield. Parked nearby, the stolen white Mercedes with two people in it. Chambers reported the stolen car to Detroit police. Yesterday, the Mercedes spotted again outside a hair salon, leading to this. Excuse me, you got that Benz out there? Yes, yes you do. I feel like he just needed an old fashioned ass whooping because you're going to stop selling people cars. And before the confrontation, Chambers slashed the tires on the Mercedes. I need to slash all four. I didn't want you to think that she was about to get anywhere far. Today was just, it was just the last straw. I just was not, I refuse to let this man joyride another day in my car. You will never steal from me again. You will never steal from me again. It's still not over. Bianca says she continued her investigation to find out who this guy was. She found him on clickondetroit.com for another car theft out of Northville. Here's the deal. She admits she put hands on him. Police were called, but the guy they were holding said he did not want to press charges against Bianca. He is now being held for receiving stolen property. We're live tonight. Sean Lake, Local 4 Defenders. Bianca is incredible. And, and an incredible turn of events, Sean. We appreciate it.